Barony's latest DLC, Myths and Outcasts, provides four new playable races and classes to the game. The focus of this video will be on the Kundra class, because the Kundra class is the first necromancer in the game. Also of interest is the new Mesma class, which is capable of converting enemy units to your side. The Conjurer will begin with a spell to summon a single Skeleton Warrior. As a Conjurer, you're incredibly weak and must rely on this Skeleton to do all the fighting for you. The cool thing about the Skeleton is, the more you allow him to fight, the better he will become. He levels up from being used in combat, so it's in your best interest to let the minion fight as much as possible. As he levels up, he also gets better equipment. Although the Conjurer starts out weak and with no real ability to fight in his own, as you explore the dungeon, you can by chance find spell books which will teach you some spells. Occasionally you'll also find damaging spells, like Force Bolt, so you can contribute to combat yourself after a little while of adventuring. At some point your summoned skeleton ability will produce another skeleton to fight for you, a hooded skeleton with a slingshot. This minion is a pretty nice addition to your forces. Just like your other skeleton, the more you let it fight for you, the better it becomes. As you adventure through the dungeon, you may also come across other members of your race. The most common kinds of adventurers you can meet seem to be humans. So if you're human, these human adventurers can be recruited and will follow you as extra minions. You can keep them alive for quite a long time if you're lucky enough to find healing spells. And as such, you can actually accumulate quite a large and capable army in the dungeons. Just like your skeletons, these adventurers level up from combat. The longer you keep them alive, the more useful they become. They can also be given equipment and dressed up. You can also find scrolls in the dungeon, and occasionally these scrolls will be for magic spells that summon even more minions to your side, like this jelly I found. So thanks to these scrolls you can get even more minion variety in your army. All of your followers can be given basic commands, for example they can be told to move somewhere, or attack something, or wait, and a few other things. The most useful thing you can do is tell your minions to rush on ahead of you if you suspect traps. The minions will trigger the traps and perish, keeping you safe. The one downside to the minions and followers in this game is their AI. It's pretty bad and it can even end up getting you killed. They often fail to see and engage enemies that are in plain sight, or fail to navigate their way past obstacles to attack what needs to be attacked. The poor minion AI is the worst part of this game, in my opinion, and it may frustrate you. It has frustrated me, but it's important to mention that it didn't frustrate me to the point where I stopped playing. You just have to be aware that your minions are complete airheads and plan accordingly around that. What they really need is a bit more initiative. It can't be that an incredibly fragile summoner is being attacked and his skeleton defenders don't realize it or react too slowly to defend him. The minion AI needs to be a bit more aggressive or proactive for threats. Overall, Barony is a fantastic roguelike, and now that it has a decent necromancer, I find it very enjoyable to play, even if the minion AI is a bit lacking. I'm going to score it an 8.8 .8 out of 10 for its minion mechanics. I think they've done a very good job with it. My plentiful minion score is perhaps a little generous here, because two minions aren't many, but I find the way you can recruit other adventurers to your side, as well as summon even more minions using scrolls, this is enough to raise the score a bit. Although the minions are very strong, their bad AI hurts their usefulness, so if they weren't so dumb, they'd score high here as well. I apologise if this video doesn't discuss all the possible minions that the Conjurer can acquire, Barony is a roguelike, and throughout my playthroughs I haven't cheated, so many of my characters have perished well before they've reached the upper limits of what this game and class has to offer. It could be that later on the Kundra gets a third minion, or perhaps even more. I'm not sure. But what I do know is that it's definitely a good game, and I think it will satisfy the minion requirements of any necromancer out there that's also a fan of roguelikes. Thanks for watching. I hope this video has been able to show you a new necromancy game which you can enjoy. I've got more necromancy content coming your way.